This is the first video on something called a logarithm. First off, think back to the exponential functions we just graphed a little while ago. Because any horizontal line crosses the graph of an exponential function at most once, the exponential function has an inverse. Remember the horizontal line test. Any horizontal line I would draw is only crossing the graph once, or not at all, if I put it down here. If the horizontal line crosses the graph at most once, that tells us that the graph of the exponential function has an inverse. And the inverse of that exponential function is called a logarithm. The logarithm function is the inverse of the exponential function. Now there's some strange looking notation you have to get comfortable with. This right here is not log little 2, 8 or something. It's called log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Be sure you read it correctly because that might help you a little bit later on. Log base 2 of 8 equals 3. So this next one will be read as log base 5 of 25 equals 2. Log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. Log base 4 of 64 equals 3. Don't say log base 4 to the 64. It's not. The 64 is not an exponent. This is a base. Think about it being bottom like basement. Log base 4 of 64 equals 3. And then this one is log base 3 of 27 equals 3. Now take a look at these and see if anything comes to mind. If you just look at that number, that number, and then refer back to that number. Do you see anything? That, that, refer back to that. Hopefully you see that this right here, raised to this power, equals the thousand. This base, raised to the third power, equals the 64. This base, raised to that power, equals 27, which means the definition for logarithm is simply the logarithm is the exponent that makes the statement true. This right here is an exponent that would go on this 3, meaning 3, this 3, raised to this 3, equals 27. So the logarithm is the exponent. And what exponent is that? It's the exponent that would go on this base to equal that number. So log base 2 of 16 equals 4 because if I take this base raised to this power, it equals that number. And that's true. 2 to the 4th does equal 16. Log base 3 of 27 equals 3 because this base raised to this power, that's 3 to the 3rd, does equal 27. Log base 7 of 49 equals 2 because this base raised to this power equals 49. Incidentally, when you look at an exponential statement, the 7 is known as the base and the 2 is the exponent. That's why I emphasize to you when you read this that you say log base 7 because the base in that expression is the same idea as the base in that exponential expression. So log base 8 of 512 equals 3 because that base raised to that power brings us back to the number 512. Same thing here, log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4 because 10 to the 4th is 10,000. So what you have to be able to do is convert from what's called logarithm form, because it's got the word log in it, to exponential form. Notice there's no word log over here, it's an exponential form. A couple little things that are important. The x has to be greater than 0, that's this and the b, which is the base, has to be greater than zero. And we're saying that the base does not equal one. So, all we're gonna do right now is shift from one form to the other. So here's our log form. We wanna to go to exponential form. So we take this base to this power equals this number. So that is three to the fifth equals 243. This base to this power, so it's 10 raised to the second power, equals 100. This base raised to this power equals a 625. So 5 to the 4th 
equals 625. And all of those are ones you may be familiar with already as far as the values. These next ones might look a little weird to you, but they are important. This is this base, which is 4, raised to the negative 2, equals 1 over 16. You should recall that when you raise something to a negative power, it creates a fraction. This, if you're thinking in terms of negative exponents, would have been 1 over 4 squared. That's where the 16 would have come from. This base of 16 raised to the 1 half equals 4. What the 1 half power is, the fraction powers are actually your roots. 16 to the 1 half is the same thing as saying the square root of 16 equals 4. And this one, this base raised to this power equals the 1. And that's another important fact from your exponent laws. When you raise anything to the zeroth power, you get 1. Except, of course, 0 to the zeroth does not equal 1. Let's go the other direction. This is already written in exponential form. We need to come back to the log form. So log form, all of these is, are going to begin with the word log. And the next thing I need to identify is a base. And the base is the same base in my exponential. So it's log base 8 of 64 equals 2. Remember, the logarithm is the exponent, so it's the exponent that has to stand alone over here. This log base 9 of the 3 equals the 1 half, because the exponent is what's standing alone. Log base 4 of 1 over 64 equals negative 3. This log base 216, it's okay for the base to be pretty big, log base 216 of 6 equals 1 third. Keep in mind, the base of the exponential expression remains the base of your logarithm expression. The other thing is, your exponent is going to be the number that stands alone over here. So this is 8 to the 1 third has to be log base 8 of 2 equals 1 third. Notice, I am writing this purposely with a line like you have on your lined paper. The base is going underneath the line. Do not write this like this, log 8 and put the 2 here. That's something entirely different. That would not be a base. So be sure you put the base beneath that line. And then just your general form here, log base a of y equals x. Now that you're somewhat comfortable switching from log form to exponential form, we have to look at a couple that are kind of tricky. You're going to be told to write this in logarithmic form. If you look back at the previous page, when we wrote something in logarithmic form, it was already written in exponential form first. Well, these are not in exponential form. So our hint here is we're going to have to take this expression, which is a root, and write it in exponential form. Well, any of these roots convert to fraction exponents. The fifth root of 32 is 32 to the 1 fifth. Now it is written in exponential form. And we can go to the logarithm form by writing log, keep the base, which is 32. Notice I'm writing the 32 a little bit lower than the word log, of 2 equals the 1 fifth. Our exponent is still standing alone over here. Take your root write it in exponential form. So the q root of 27 is the same thing as 27 to the 1 third equals 3. Once you're in exponential form, it will convert to your log form. So log base 27 of 3 equals 1 third. Again, we have the exponent, the exponent right here, standing alone because the logarithm equals the exponent. We will evaluate these logarithms in the next video.